Hi guys, welcome back for another behind the scenes wedding video where I'm gonna take you to the most beautiful weddings and let you watch on my camera while I photograph and film at the same time. In this video we're gonna play tag, fly in an actual helicopter, I can't believe it, fight the sun because it's so strong, me be happy happy in a helicopter, accidentally turn off the communication of the helicopter with my knees, oops. Make some beautiful photos and videos at the same time. How crazy is that? And I'll tell you my group photo secrets. Welcome you guys at another beautiful behind the scenes wedding video. And this video is going to be so awesome. Because I flew in an actually helicopter. Well, I sat next to the, to the pilot. He flew. And behind me was a couple so awesome i mean i never sat in a helicopter before so it was such a great experience to do and if you ever have a chance do it i just wanting i shot the photo and video together also my assistant sonne it's a dutch name so um hope you understand the name sonne uh, she's my assistant she helped me with some back uh, backstage shots and stuff and she helps me with Sometimes with the driving in this case, because I had to fly with a helicopter, she drove uh, the car from the one place to the other place. Because we were flying with 200 kph to the wedding venue. A special wedding because the groom is also a photographer, he uh, and he does also does video. He's such a great uh, photographer, especially with helicopters, he, this is specialism. So if you want to see more of that, I will put a link in this video. Uh, it's, such, it's so cool to see. He does really cool stuff in America and Netherlands with army helicopters and stuff. It's, it's not your usual helicopter stuff, it's awesome helicopter stuff. Having said that, you guys probably want to see what I've done at this wedding. So I'm not going to do a too long introduction. First, we're going to start with the uh, intro of the wedding video. And after that, we get the behind the scenes videos. I'm so curious what you guys think of it. Let's take a look. So if you guys have seen more of my videos, you know I always start with just the detail shots. Um, the camera wasn't in the shot, so don't worry. Uh, I laid it down there because I have to get really close to the details, as you can see here. Just a warming up. I like to warm up as a photographer. I don't want to... Um, some photos I'm not even going to send them or use, but just for me to getting used to the environment, they getting used to me. I'm not photographing people. I start doing that when I've shot some detail shots, so they get used to me, especially when I shoot photo and video, I can get quite close to the groom as you can see here, because I like to have that intensity of shots, if I'm not close enough, you don't feel it in the photo, I think, that's why I use prime uh, lenses, not zoom lenses, because zoom lenses create the distance, and I don't like to have the distance with a wedding couple, I'm very close and personal, also I'm always on a personal base with the couples I shoot. Um, I think that works the best. As you see here, I tried to photograph through the window. So I didn't have a special filter for the sun, so it's very difficult to shoot through a window. Again, um, his mother is, mother is helping him with, uh, with, with the dressing up. He, he can dress himself up, but it's, it's more like the, the, the feeling of somebody helping. Uh, I, if somebody's putting his clothes on alone, it's just a, such a alone feeling. I, I want to have the connection in the photos. Especially when I shoot video like this, I, I try to shoot against the light because I like the, the lit backlight. Shoot some photos, but mostly video when I shoot towards uh, the light. And again, try to find the right spot for the light. When I'm photographing, I shoot from the light source. So in this case, in, the, in my back, there's a light source and I will photograph and film, especially from that side. And all the people in the room try to connect them because i think it's very important to connect people 
Now we're at the bride. Again, uh, ask her to just touch the dress, uh, feel the dress. I can make some photos and some, 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 some videos of it because I think it's very important. I like when there's a lot of contrast, it just gives a great, great vibe to the photos. Now we're starting with uh, uh, the bride uh, dressing up. Her mother is helping her and um, she actually put the dress wrong. The button was wrong. So I helped the bride out with the right button. I've seen a lot of dresses. I have know how to um, put on a dress, <laughs> even though I never put on a dress myself. I know how to do it. So when I see something not going right, I will tell them that I like I inter interfered the in the further process but sometimes it has to be done and again um, I like this close-up detail shots as you can see here I change it up with video and photos so I make some great behind the scenes shots of me doing my stuff and the light here was beautiful because it had a roof light and the light was coming from above and especially when she was putting on her um, sleeves of her dress I just love this shot because it's such a the light from above is so beautiful. Look at that. So I make a lot of photos. I like those little details. Here they were hugging it out. Yeah, it looked a bit strange, but it was because of me. Because I already hugged and I asked them to hug again. And it was a little bit of miscommunication. But I hugged again. And so beautiful. It was the first look. I forgot to put on my camera. Which I do a lot. Well, not the, the, the camera I photographed the wedding with. But the, the DJI on my camera. So uh, that's why you don't see the initial reaction. This uh, this is one was not the real one. We just did it again. But I love this reaction. I love uh, when uh, the, 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 the 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 groom checks out the bride because I always step a couple steps back and just check out the bride and just leave them to it and make some shots and just want to have some some cool stuff for for them to to remember. Oh, yeah. And also did a couple of group photos because Ready? we were already there and okay. we had some shade and if, uh, if there's shade I will definitely do some group photos to get it out of the way of the day because it was a very sunny day so I wanted to do so as much as I can in the sun. And now we're at the helicopter. As you can see here it's a very sunny day so what I did, the sun's behind them actually. So I put them, uh, I shoot towards the light so their faces are in the shade for the most part. So I've got a little bit more softer light on the face. That's what you do when you photograph in the sun because there's no shade at all. The sun is just high, high up. As you see here, I did some stuff to filter the sun out. So you can see there's no shade at all. Yeah, nog keer wat je sluit bewegen. Zo ja, heel mooi. Lekker dat zie de foto. Super. It just works, because I did some of the shades and the highlights, so the the photo looks a little bit more yeah, less sunny. There's nothing wrong with sun, but the sun way up in the sky isn't so beautiful. Right here we took the shadow of the of the tree, so we can make some great photos in the shade. Because it was a tree, and for this kind of detail shots, it's perfect. As you can see here. I like my black and white photos. I'm a very, I'm very big on black and white photos. I will send the couples always the color ones and the black and white ones, but I prefer a lot of black and white shots because it's such a more contrasty kind of thing. See, I'm really close to them. I just ask them to fiddle around with the rings. And here is Sanne holding up the, <laughs> holding up the sun blocker, sun, Sanne with the sun blocker. Uh, but it makes such a difference if you block out the sun. The sun's really high up, so it's very difficult for her to block out the sun because they were also very tall, like me. But you can see here the, the, the amount of difference it makes when you block out the sun is, is huge and makes so much better shots. Block that sun out if you can. Take someone with you to help you blocking out. Then here there are a lot of uh, little seeds floating through the air because it's hay fever season, so there's the hay fever stuff going on there. Now, I liked it, especially in the video. Another beautiful kiss in front of yeah. the chopper. We should go to ride. We're gonna ride the chopper. How cool is that? I've never been into a chopper, but I just wanted to do it. I just wanted to go in the chopper. And I was a bit scary at first, not on the day, but when they told me that they wanted to fly a helicopter because Jimmy, the, the groom, uh, is a photographer of helicopters. So, yeah, we have to go with a helicopter. But 
a couple of days before the wedding, I was just getting more and more excited to go into the chopper. My wife wasn't was less excited because she was like, "Oh no, he's going yeah, to fly yeah. a helicopter." But it turned out great. I'm here. I'm landed. Everything went well. Pop. Here I'm making some video stuff, especially for the video. Okay. I want some storyline of some. I want a great storyline, so I do a lot of video stuff in between. So I do photo and video, uh, mix them up. Uh, right now I'm shooting video and uh, video. Sometimes I go up back to the photo, as you can see in a moment. I'm changing it up continuously. It's just. Oh yeah, I like the shadows, because there's shadow on the faces, so they look beautiful, that's the thing. The only thing you have to really think about when photographing or filming a wedding, people want to be beautiful. And uh, it, it, so think about that. So you, it's better to put them in a little less be beautiful place, where a shadow or a shade, sorry, shade, than a place that's beautiful, where there's so much sun. Look at the wind, it's so beautiful how it goes. Yeah. Oh, I like some wind. Wind and no sun. My perfect day will be a windy day, no sun, just um, like an overcast day, beautiful. Some last shots before before I go into the chopper. Uh, oh man, it was so exciting. And in a moment we will get into the chopper. It's such an amazing thing to do. So kissing. Yeah, a lot of kissing going on there. Now we go up. Up in the air. Yeah, there's a the pilot. Such a great guy. He's from the same region as we are, so we connected instantly. He's like I'm southern, and he's also southern, so it has an instant connection. There we go, and uh, and the chopper first starts to spin around. And then we get airborne, and it goes really really fast. Even I've, I'm afraid of heights, but not one second I felt that it was scarier stuff because it goes so up so quickly it's like whoop, you know up in the air and now you see me making some selfish stuff i should have shot this horizontal but i was so excited i totally forgot and now we're flying out of his garden over the over the highway and very soon we were go hitting 200 kilometers an hour that's like 150 miles an hour 60 miles an hour i don't know but it was fast, and my assistant son was driving to the wedding location. He arrived way, way later because he had to drive for like uh, 45 minutes, and we had a 20 minute flight. So it's very fast. I want a helicopter, it's so much faster to go to wedding locations. Look at the view, it's so great sitting there. And also, the sound of a helicopter when it's um, it makes it. it, it if you seen Airwolf, know the series, I'm older, so I know the series. And the sound of the chopper is such a cool sound, it just makes your little boy happy, happy. So awesome. Also, I wanted to make photos of the couple in helicopter, which is very, very difficult because I'm tall, uh, which I already told you guys, but when you're tall in helicopter, it's quite difficult to make a photo um, because you have to turn around and yeah, it's, it's not it's, it's not the, the best situation to make photos, but I tried to do my best and turn around in the seat and make photos. Here the, the pilot is um, explaining a lot of stuff, explaining that I shouldn't turn off the communication with my knee because we need communication with the ground. Oops! <laughs> yep, I was thinking it was... Um, because uh, when you're on the chopper, you hear the, um, the radio traffic on your ears and you hear each other speak. So you hear a lot of stuff going on there. Um, this wedding location, actually. Uh, so I actually uh, bumped into the communication button, so everything was silent. I like that silence, actually, but it wasn't great. And in the moment, you're gonna land at the wedding venue. The 360 fly around, which is really cool because we were very diagonal. So great. And now we're landing. And it's so cool to land in front of all those people. You're so excited and there's a lot of adrenaline going on when you're blew a helicopter. It's so amazing. Octave. Couple getting out of the helicopter. So shots of that, so cool. And they were also pumped and hyped just to get out of the chopper. I think this is the best way to enter a wedding on, a, on in the chopper. There's no better way to do it. There's no car that can do this. This, yeah. You can hear it on my voice. It's just so exciting. 
And there's everybody waiting for them. Some people are crying, so I make some crying shots and stuff because you need to have to grind people there. It's just beautiful. It's happy tears. We love happy tears. And then we go to the ceremony. Straight into the ceremony. My assistant was still um, driving. He arrived a lot later. He has a groom with his mother. I told him to walk very slowly because he's also tall and tall people walk really fast. Just take your time. And he does a perfect job. Slow walks. Take your time. Same for the, for the bride. So it's a little faster, but still. You have to walk really slow. If you're getting married, walk slowly. The slower you walk, the better the photos in the videos, the more chance the photographer or the video videographer has to make some shots. I like to be close at, at, at um, ceremonies. Not continuously, but uh, at some points I want to be close. Uh, some points I will be, be, be way more back. To the ceremony, I listen what they say and I adapt myself on what is being said on the ceremony. I had to change a lot because the ceremony was partly in the sun and the right side was in the shade. So that's a, quite a challenge actually. So you have to find that sweet balance between the right shadow, light composition. And it's best thing to make sure you shoot a little bit darker than usual. So you can pull up the dark parts of the photo and the video. Don't shoot. Uh, make sure your highlights aren't over a blue out because that's that's a big problem so make sure your highlights are low 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 there's a couple happy happy we're shooting some photos of them and she was crying so i went a little bit closer so i could make great shots of her crying it sounds strange but that's what you do then you get the vows and it's a very beautiful part of the wedding uh, especially when you shoot video it's important to make sure you have sh uh, headshots of the faces saying out the, uh, the vows and photos of both their faces uh, it's very connecting also for the bride um, i think you should be close for these kind of photos and videos don't be scary to people watching at you um, you get used to it See these kind of shots, I like them. It's so close and intimate. And then you get the official part. They said yes, and the one thing, the one thing they did a lot of things very good. They did a long kiss. And long kisses are great because when you do a long kiss, I get a lot of chance to shoot photos and video together. Don't make it a small kiss, just take your time and do a great long kiss. Like they did. They get beautiful photos. So never forget to do long and a lot of kisses. And when the ceremony is finished, I always ask the couple when they're walking down the aisle, just have fun, kiss each other, enjoy that moment. Because it's it's a once in a lifetime moment um, for the most people. And the group photos. I love me some group photos and uh, there's some magic things to make the group photo work. First word is squeeze. Make sure they squeeze together on the photo. Because if they squeeze together, it just looks so much better on the photo. Squeeze, squeeze, you see me here? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze together. I don't want to see something between them. Look how great it looks on the photo. And if you want to uh, uh, ask people to say something on the photo, tell them to say yoga. Yoga is a word that just looks very natural on the photo. Uh, and you'll notice that when people say yoga, you can see it here. They all have a smiley face, a great face. That's the trick. Squeeze and yoga. So remember, squeeze and yoga. And be fun yourself. You know, like show them it's really fun to make those photos. If you're boring, you get boring photos. Just be fun and make them make make them want to laugh make make sell the yoga thing people always laugh when you say yoga and sometimes they say another word like um pineapple or something and they'll laugh because why pineapple and I'm, I'm i'm like it's just a joke say yoga it's the best word i like to make group photos from a, a, a straight point of view and i don't like to be way up and make a photo i think it's very strange to make a photo like that because now you can see everybody in the photo there's no problem there's a big bunch of beautiful people so did you guys enjoy the video? I absolutely loved shooting this wedding, the photos and the video and everything around it and especially the helicopter ride was such a thrill to do it and I would do it again for sure. Maybe guys have got some questions about how I shoot photo and video at the same time. We call it hybrid photo and video nowadays or just curious about more of my work. You can go to my Instagram right here, somewhere here. 
check out more of my photos and videos or if you want to see more behind the scenes stuff or technical stuff just scroll through my youtube you'll find a lot of great stuff i think it's great if you want to see more of my weddings leave a comment and tell me i want to see more 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 weddings i promise you i'm going to take you guys to the most beautiful wedding venues around the world the most beautiful couples everything beautiful for now i wish you guys a great day and till next time bye bye Thank <laughs> you.